Forest Alliance, the King's Road. Use my ass to move and the mouse to look around. Alrighty. Thank you for letting me know now, at least. Especially not when we had to uh, duck around and stuff like that. That was kind of weird. My mouse is really weird. Look at that. It's, it's like shaking when I move. Oh no! My dead piggy. No! Why? Oh, let's see where we gotta go. Ooh, what's in that thing? Over there. Oh, well, we can't check that? Ah, okay. Well, there's something over here. Look at the carts. Oh. That's Father's car. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Victor may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Those are the big killers. Those freaking bastards. I'm gonna freaking get them. Come here. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. I'm gonna draw my sword. I don't care. I'm gonna slice I'm going them. To kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. No. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Oh, did you see that? I'm already learning. No. I'll have that sword, boy. No. He's in, he can't you can't have Fuck you. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> What? He's take what? No! Don't take my sword. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Oh, dang it. No. Oh yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it. Let's. let's. Oh, we might actually. Farmer, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that one. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I freaking hit him right in the face. Nice. Oh, I, he better not run. That dude with the sword. Oh, he's gonna go for me, really? Is that so? No. You are not gonna do that. Oh, Q, Q, Q. Oh, shit. I gotta mash it. Oh, come on. E. Oh, yes. Mercy, please. Well, I, you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. Oh god, this is really no bad. Like the problem is she doesn't. I, I was only oh. pulling okay, I'm gonna show Mercy. I am I know this is bad. The problem is I have the sword and he's probably gonna tell others. But again, I don't wanna slay Lord, people. I feel we'll see you hang for this. That much I promise. I know that might have been a mistake. But I'm not a brutally murder murderer. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. Uh, 
I tried to stop them. Oh my god. Oh, so that's my little sister trying to hide in there. I'll kill the men who did this. Oh, I should have killed that dude. Holy crap. I am I'm a terrible person now. I feel bad about myself. Why did I do that? I thought Ah, oh, damn it. That's gonna annoy my s oh god, I'm, I gotta replay that. <laughs> now nah, I'm, I'm gonna continue on for the recordings. So I'm probably gonna just replay it uh, off camera, but God dang it, that is so Garrett. annoying. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Oof. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it and drag it to. Oh, oh. Oh, bit of, bit of, bit of good, good maggots. Mm. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Oh, no, not more. Not more. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. What? No. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay, I gotta walk a bit around. I gotta look around. I gotta look at Lord's chair. Look at look at that chair. Oh, that's. Can I look at it or can I sit in it? Damn it. Oh. What do we got out there? The Ironwood Grove. Ah. Let's shift. I, I just realized you can actually swi uh, shift through the whole thing. So we can walk a bit faster. Tapestry. A 
Lady Forrester. Lord Forrester. Ah, oh, damn it. Look at this. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Hmm. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh, yeah. Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Hmm. On the menu codex page. Okay, so we're going to read about everything mm. in the codex page. That's you seem nice. to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> I will walk around. I don't want to lose a freaking leg. Uh, so this is Ma Master Orton. I don't want to show the sword. No. Talk to. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Hmm? At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Hmm. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Uh, I want to talk with Ethan, yeah. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. His loot? <laughs> oh. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Okay. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm so sorry. Go to bed, man. Damn it. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion, but if you can remember anything... He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. 
This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? I mean, he said he, yeah. he said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <laughs> Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house. He and can he needs our food. help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. You cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. So I gotta keep on retreating? Oh my god. The, the boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially okay, I'll try and go then. The house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Oh yeah, I remember my bravery. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Hmm. So I just arrived and then I have to leave again. Damn it.